Dear educators, welcome to video series of STEAM implementation uh, profession development. Uh, in this video series, we would like to I would like to cover uh, four modules and and include uh, these videos into four modules of uh, Blackboard uh, profession development in order to emphasize uh, the meaning of the STEAM uh, curriculum. So, what does STEAM stand by? STEAM is combination of science, technology, engineering, art, and math subjects uh, into a school system and into the curriculum and, and teach them into an interdisciplinary uh, school and classroom setting and get students to get engaged with the school and also of the school community and get them engaged to the real life applications. So since STEAM uh, is very new topic I just need to have a STEAM curriculum professional development. So in this professional development, uh, I would like to cover also common practices of the STEAM education. Why STEAM is very important, also I would like to talk a little bit about some of the scientists and psychologists uh, and, uh, and also and so far, and how this idea came from and how it, it has been evolved so far. Uh, STEAM as we mentioned, is a holistic curriculum design which allows school uh, personnel, staff, students, administrators to understand the real life related items, problems, innovations, trends through applying to interdisciplinary learning process and techniques. STEM education derived from STEM from the STEM concept. STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math and was publicly announced by Obama, President Obama administration in 2009 through Educate the Innovate campaign. And this campaign actually uh, fostered so many uh, educators and organizations to organize STEM related conferences and nationwide and also it encouraged so many uh, businessmen to spend some money on, at the schools and uh, at the different level of the uh, organizations to inspire uh, people and students uh, to understand and to be uh, knowledgeable about STEM education. But STEAM concept first uh, started at Rhode Island School of Design. Uh, it is the number one school in, uh, in the nation, uh, art and design school. Uh, the president, John Mayada, the director, added art to the STEM. And actually, the idea came from uh, adding art to STEM because uh, the art budget has been cut last 10 years at the schools and some of those support and uh, athletic uh, you know funds because of the budget issues so he was he kind of he was kind of inspired and he just wanted to emphasize how art is very important and how art is very very needed in this 21st century uh, the principles driving STEM reside in the belief that students need but a natural and creative view of the world to compete in the global market of the 21st century. I'm saying global market because uh, in the book Earth is Flayed, uh, it says over oh, there globalization and competition and the world starting to be a flat right now. There's a, so much mobility and there's so much uh, human resources and there's a lack of the uh, actually uh, jobs uh, and uh, in those areas and people are moving because of those jobs from India from China and there's so much mobility and especially this is very important uh, topic at, uh, at the nation level in United States uh, because I will share some of the data in my, my next video it is very important to share because right now we have to think about what next 50 years and 100 years are waiting for us what are the expectations of the current uh, global economy and global uh, technology and uh, and what will be have uh, be changed and what has changed before. For example, uh, for example, I would like to share with you the computer invention started from 1881 up until now. Still, is kind of evolving process. And if you look at the first computer, at that time the first computer was a very simple item. After that, they start to make it complicated. And the first marketable computer was only 55 pounds. And, and it was available in the buildings only 
at the uh, at the maybe basement or some level of uh, information uh, center uh, in the organization. So they were able to use that computer, uh, like the hidden system or electric system of the any type of storage. But right now you can see so many different devices and you can see so many different items has been changed and you can only get a computer only less than about one pound. If you look at uh, some cell phones, if you look at the Motorola and some other Nokia products almost 30 years ago, uh, and you can see so many changes, you can see so many applications has been changed. So those changes are very important to understand how time goes very fast and the time also and uh, current resources and current available uh, item and devices are being developed and, and also uh, progressed. And it is very important for this generation, our students at the schools, to understand these changes because also they have to make themselves available uh, actually uh, to be changed and also to be a change agent uh, in the future. And so at the schools actually, uh, as an educators, uh, it's our job to show the students what happened in the past in terms of history, in terms of civilizations, in terms of technology, and what we have right now and what will happen future. But unfortunately, uh, so STEAM uh, concept is new and nobody knows about that. And, but at the same time, it needs educators, all stakeholders, to collaborate together to make the STEAM function. Administrators' role, teachers' role, board members' role, and parents' role, and students' role. All the stakeholders should be on the same page in order to be implementing the STEAM education. So what is STEAM? Why it is important? STEAM is, is a holistic curriculum design allows human beings to use their right and left uh, hemispheres of their brain. And in the STEM subjects, science, technology, and math, uh, and engineering subjects, human beings use their left brain hemispheres. But adding art also uh, has started to get human beings to activate their right brain uh, functions. So those functions are art awareness, creativity, imagination, intuition, insight, holistic thought, and music awareness, and 3D forms, and left hand control. You might say there are engineers, there are architects, there are teachers, and there are doctors. Why any student has to be learning all the STEAM-related subjects? Why do I have to uh, get students to be knowledgeable from all those disciplines? Because right now, in this economy, in this setting, engineers, doctors, and maybe uh, photographers, they're all be interfered with all different disciplines. Let, let's say a doctor has to know the computer and doctor has to know some of the biomedical engineering devices and reading their data. And teacher also, historically teacher was only using a blackboard, simple and chalk, and writing on the blackboard. Right now there are so many technological devices, smart boards, whiteboards, and interactive uh, whiteboards, and, and, and etc. Allowing individuals in that century to apply all those things and mandatorily and they mandate them and obligate them to use those resources because they are available resources. Again, STEM is a holistic approach to curriculum design and it is very important to understand. STEM also in the human being, heart, mind, soul and the body. In the STEM implementation, any human being and student any individual is able to utilize all his own resources. Mind, brain, as I mentioned, they think about it. They create something. And with their heart, they feel that if it is applicable. And they, they like to produce and create something. And also with their hands, they use them in their body and, and they, they perform. And with the soul, actually, they feel confident and they are eager to uh, produce more and to be more creative. So basically, STEAM curriculum is the foundation to implement so many great things and also to accumulate all those educational uh, settings 
let's say cross-curricular activities, problem-based learning, or project-based learning. And these are all education, uh, actually, uh, activities and, uh, and some of the settings uh, has been suggested by the scientists and some of the uh, school administrators uh, and some of the districts. But throughout the STEAM implementation, you, can, you are able to cover all those things. But it is difficult thing. So I will tell you why it is difficult and how STEAM is important. Thanks so much.